Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm to show you my sunglass collection. So if you see me on Instagram lately, you see my sunglass collection has gotten like extensively big. So right now I have a new Instagram. It is called The Slevin Show. So that's where you can find like my pictures and stuff and chat with me or whatever. And I'm gonna tell you like the prices and everything. First off, I ordered these. Dior sunglasses. So these are like out of stock everywhere. They're super hard to find. I believe for this pair, I bought them on Farfetch or $3.95 at the time. And these are Dior. Um, these are the Soul Light sunglasses. I can't remember if they're Soul Light ones or twos, but these are like the big shade ones, like set up a little higher. And I really like these because I do prefer for my sunglasses to come up to my eyebrow or just about. I love how these give me the movie star kind of vibe. You can't see my eyes. You can't see anything. Um, I really love these. These are my everyday decision. These are probably my number one go-to. Farfetch or My Sense. I think it was My Sense. I got these for $3.95. Dior Soul Lights. I believe these are Soul Light ones. They do have another style where the lens the height of the glasses is shorter, but I don't like those. So those are the first pair of sunglasses. These are the first pair of designer sunglasses I ever bought. And I fell in love with them. Then I ended up buying another pair of Soul Lights. At the same time, I bought these two together. And these are the nude Soul Lights. And these are the same exact style. They have a Dior on the side. I like the big frame glasses, you can tell. And these you can actually see, these are more like um, an accessory to an outfit or something than they are uh, for the sun. And I really like these, super fire. Um, yeah, these are also $3.95. Um, then I got my third pair of Dior So Lights. These are the pink. Which is weird because it's like a pink nude and it's like a pink. So I'm not exactly sure what's the color code on these. I got these from Saks with my personal shopper and best friend, Daniel. Um, at the time, I can't remember how much they were. I know that they got these on sale and I ended up going back and buying some more. I actually pair of these for sale. Um, with the, they come with the actual hard box as well as the case and as well as the, um, I don't know where it's at, but a cleansing cloth for the glasses, like a little Dior card and everything like that. So these, I just felt like these were the perfect accessory. And you know, same thing with the cream ones, the nude ones, I felt like these go perfectly, you know, as an accessory to an outfit or something like that. So rather than sunglasses. So these is my third pair. So for a while, I only had these three sunglasses. Well, for a while, I only had the first two and I was wearing the black ones like every day. And then I got these and these are, were like my top three that I was wearing all the time, no questions. So before, oh, I forgot about these. So actually before I got those, my ex-boyfriend had got me these um, Balenciaga glasses. And at the time I was like, oh, these aren't all that cute, but it was the effort, I guess, that counted. So he tried or whatever. I said I wanted some sunglasses. So he got me these. They're not, they are very, very stylish. I call these my matrix glasses because it makes me feel like I'm in the matrix. Like they don't come up over my eyebrow, but because of the shape of them, they're like super, super different. Super, super cute. You also can't see my eyes, but you can see my facial expressions as far as my eyebrows and stuff like that is concerned. I like how the nose, uh, this part is wide enough, you know, I like all that. I really do like these glasses. Um, I don't know where the case is at or the wipe. I have no idea. I just saw the wipe the other day, but I don't have a case for them. But I think they're so, so cute. I don't know how much he paid for these, but I think they're really cute. I like how they're like frameless, like there's no lens. It's just one piece or two, three pieces. And they, they, these are super cute. So these were technically my first pair, but I never really wore them because I didn't think I wasn't as into sunglasses at the time until I got the Dior's. So for a while, I only had these three and I was content with my collection. Then I started going online <laughs> and I just felt like I kinda, there was a girl that I followed on Instagram. Her name is Atura, A-U-T-R-A, something like that. And she's like a foreign girl. In all her pictures, she has on sunglasses. So you can't see her face unless it's in like a full body picture from like 
excuse me, from far away. So I kind of like the aesthetic of like, you can't see her face unless she really wants to show it to you. Most bitches, she has sunglasses and her sunglass collection was like, ill. So I was like, yeah, I kind of want to do that for my aesthetic. I thought about taking all my pictures down off of Instagram and doing that. So now that my page got deleted, I was like, this is the perfect time to go with that aesthetic. So then I ended up purchasing um, I wasn't on the hunt for these glasses. I happened upon them by accident. I got these Tom Ford glasses. So this is my second pair because my first pair I lost at work. If I see a girl at Atlantis with my sunglasses, I am going to take them because I know they're not yours. Um, warning. I love the little case that it comes in. Like, I th think this is so cute. When I bought the second pair, it came like in a standard, like hard eye box case and I didn't like it. So I just have it somewhere sitting off to the side. So these sunglasses I got at Bloomingdale's, these were $415. And you can see my eyes, but sometimes in certain light, it's kind of hard to see what I'm looking at. So these are Tom Ford. They're super, super cute. The lens is different, but as you can see, they come up to my eyebrow. Like, it kind of really covers my eyebrow. I get a lot of compliments with these glasses. A lot of my friends like them. And I just think that they're so dope. So these are 415. I got these at Bloomingdale's. They do have these in stock. These are called the Sabrinas. I have been looking for these glasses for a long time. It was very hard to find because it came out with the new menswear collection. These are my Louis Vuitton glasses. These glasses are the most expensive glasses I've purchased. These glasses were <clears throat> and I believe $75. Let me double check. These are the Cyclone sunglasses. And out of the three styles, because there are three colors, this is the most expensive. Um, this These glasses were $8.75. They're currently out of stock. The box is so cute. It's a green marble effect. So I'm guessing that's what makes these glasses more expensive. So they have the LV on the side and they have like these crystals in the middle. And the thing that I like about these glasses is that it looks like, I mean, it is two different lenses, but it looks like it's just one big piece. And the color is just like amazing. Like I really love the other oh, dirty. <laughs> I really love these glasses. They cover everything. Like this is what I want a sunglass to do to cover my expressions, cover my eyes. I don't feel like looking at people. But these are like super eye catching. I get compliments everywhere. And the thing that I really like about these glasses is that I can see right here. I can actually see behind me. <laughs> so yeah, I can see when somebody's like standing online, like if they're looking at me or anything like that. From Daniel as well. Um, he works at Saks. They have Louis Vuitton inside of Saks. So he gets me a lot of Louis Vuitton items. So he, I ordered these and I think everything came out to like nine something. I was in Miami. Uh, I was out there for like 10, 10 days, 11 days recently. And I was bored. <laughs> and I went sunglass shopping. Um, I saw this style with my other personal shopper, Jerry. She works at Bergdorf Goodman. I'll list their pages below so that you can go check out stuff from them. Jerry posted them and I wanted a pair. But sometimes the good thing about her being in a city and me living in New Jersey is that I don't get up and go before she leaves so sometimes if i really want something i'll just give her my card gets it for me and send it to my house so i went and i picked up these loewe glasses so i know the company is l-o-e-w-e -E, but the reason it's like that is because in germany this is a german brand they don't have a double u in their vocabulary it's double v so this is um these glasses were $360. They were the last ones in stock at the Loewe in the Miami district. Um, and I was so, so happy that I got to get them. So these are the Paula Ibiza original sunglasses. And this is the silver. This is the silver and white. So these sunglasses have like a real, like, like they're really reflective. It's like a mirror. Like you can really see everything. Like somebody could check their teeth in these glasses. They're very sturdy. All these glasses so far have been very sturdy. The Dior ones I'd say are the thinnest, like the flimsiest ones, the Dior and the Balenciaga. But that doesn't mean it's bad. It just means that the actual thickness of the glasses is thinner. 
So they have like the Loewe logo right here and the Loewe right here. And these glasses are so cute. She said, don't put these on my head because they're gonna stretch. They're a very, very tight frame and I wanna keep them that way. These glasses look like, I feel like I look like Cyborg, but with the right outfit, they're like really cute, really amazing. They kind of cover my eyebrows a little bit, but it's really the style that I like. It's like super, super bomb. Like they're amazing. These are 360, come in like this cute little leather case and it has like the little nose thing right here. So the glasses fit in perfectly. It snaps shut and then it has a clip and a, a lanyard band. Also got another pair of Loewe glasses. These are a little different. These are the black, like circular. They're kind of like circular, but then they have like the the metric sunglasses and 52M. I just really like these. They're like a different kind of black sunglasses. And I just felt like these are like so cute. Like they're so different. These are more casual I could wear on like an everyday basis, unlike the other Loewe pair. But I really like them. These glasses are $340. I didn't find them on the Loewe website. However, they are on Bloomingdale's website if you want to purchase them. Last pair of sunglasses. I just got these in the mail yesterday. <laughs> um is another pair of Louis Vuitton Cyclone glasses. So there are three colors. I want all three colors conveniently. <laughs> like the Dior, when I like something in one size or style, I usually get the whole colorway. That's my preference. So this pair is the amazing pair. Um, this color is so fire. I can't wait to wear them. I just don't have an outfit yet, but I think, I, I think I'm coming up with something. And I just want to open up. They're so fire. Yes, I didn't have a red pair of glasses. And these Louis Vuitton glasses are just too die for. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at the reflection. So, this reflection is like more like a black silver, whereas that one is kind of like, um, like it, it gets like a little different color, more like a natural sunglass. So, I just really, really like these. These glasses are $8.55 on the website, but because they have been sold out everywhere, I got them from a personal shopper. Her name is Chloe. Um, with taxes and shipping and everything, these glasses came out to $1,131. This is the most expensive pair of glasses I have. Not because they cost more, because these actually are cheaper than the green ones, but because I had to go through a personal shopper. Personal shoppers that work in store, and I have personal shoppers that this is their business, their personal shopping business. So her business is a personal shopping business. So she wouldn't get the same type of credit um, that or commission that my regular sales associate personal shoppers would. So Daniel's a sales associate personal shopper, and so is Jerry. She's a sales associate personal shopper, and Chloe is a personal shopper. This is her business. So I really, really like these glasses. I'm so in love. They are so bomb. They look so good. Um, they do have these in black, and I will be purchasing them in black because um, the black ones just go with everything. So I definitely want to get those. Um, and that's going to be my last pair of sunglasses that I get for a while, I think. Um... So yeah, I just want to go through my sunglass collection with you. These Louis Vuitton Cyclone glasses I purchased in Dubai over my holiday trip. I got these glasses for around 800 American dollars due to like the currency difference and after VAX ta tax, VAT tax. <laughs> these Loewe Pauli Biza glasses are the red with the mirror in gold. Love them. Got these with Jerry at Birdorf. I was so happy that she had these in stock for me. These were around 360, I believe. And this last pair of glasses to add to my collection after I made the previous video are these Cartier glasses. They have wood frames as well as diamonds and custom cutting, so they are expensive. Let me know if you like it. Hopefully this was like a quick little video. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to my channel. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later.